guys look at that so this is my umbrella my smoky hot ugali yeah hey this recipe it's in hello guys what's up how are you doing welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl kenbuto kenya if you're new to this channel thank you so much for tuning in please subscribe to my channel so we are in the kitchen it's on wednesday afternoon lunchtime and I'm in the kitchen, so today, if you know I'm in the kitchen, we are doing a cooking vlog. So today, I'm going to how to make a perfect daga omena. Wajalu in the house, my coffee. <laughs> so I'll be taking off for this. And I've been having troubles with making omena. So this recipe, hey. So keep watching. Yes, returning subscriber now. Sana. So let's start. So here is our mena. Here is our daga. So the first thing we're going to make sure it doesn't have that. Come on. Come on. Come on. We remove it. And the big omenas, like this one, we remove it. So that's the first step. So guys, after after removing that from your omena, we're going to soak it in cold water. This is cold water. Cold water. This is enough idea to to remove your the dryness. To remove the bitterness of the omena. Guys, I know a lot of you have been having problems with cooking omena. So you better be watching this video because I'm going to save you the way I was saved this recipe trust me you'll love it you will love it if you're watching please subscribe why are you watching and not subscribing like come on and our pen also so after soaking it this is what we do so we're going to remove it from the water So the first step we're going to look for a, a good pan we're going to be using a pan then we add our omena so we are going to spread our omena like this omena is daga if you don't know what omena is So before adding your oil, make sure that the water has drained before you add your cooking oil. As you guys can see, the water is drained. So we are going to add cooking oil. Omenani mafuta, omenani mafuta. Ready. Spread the cooking oil. Make sure your omena doesn't stick to the pan. Okay, we're going to be stirring until it's golden brown. Yeah. If you guys don't have a frying pan. Make sure if you're using sufuria, don't use the light sufuria. Make sure not to make the sufuria little so that it doesn't burn. Because you don't want to eat burnt omena. <laughs> so the pan in a idea to fry, then it doesn't burn. You get the point. So we're gonna leave it, then we'll we'll be stirring it until it's golden brown. Guys. If you notice you use small okay, little pot cooking oil, you add it unaongeza because of a na in a cooking oil. I've heard that I don't know it's a rumor that cooking oil in a toy the bitterness of the omena. I don't know if you guys more full omena then you must get a Yeah, a lot of ukeka cooking oil mingi it soaks the bitterness so so you can't well, you can't taste the bitterness in the omena. So if you think you've added a little cooking oil, you can just add more. 
so that it doesn't burn, but it stands golden brown. You get the point. <laughs> Are you guys seeing that? Imeanza kutam. Make sure it doesn't burn. So keep stirring. Today I was taught this recipe by a Luo lady. <laughs> Luo's are so good at making omena. I used to have troubles in making omena. Like, actually, you can boil omena, then you can it when you put soup. Like, come on, Jerry. Jerry and the Shiro's. <laughs> Be like a chien in making omena. Be like a kemunto in making matoke. You get the point. You don't know how to make omena and you're here. Hey, watch my video. And please subscribe. And if you know a friend who doesn't know how to make, you can just share it. And please subscribe. Thank you. So we're starting. We haven't added anything. This is just our omena and cooking oil. So guys, I think it is ready. Just make sure your omena is crunchy, but not too crunchy that you can't even feel what you're eating. It's quite crispy, sana. Just a little bit crunchy. No kutwa ile wetness. Yeah, so we're going to be adding our onions. Yeah. So let's add our onions. Ew, look at that. Who is this? Adiambo girl. <laughs> if you're liking my recipe, please give it a thumbs up. No, see, because you subscribe. Come on. So we are adding, obviously, I'm obviously using this type of onions, but you can use any type of onions for omena. So we are adding, we have added our, make sure you're using a lot of onions, not kidogo, to give it taste. Trust me on this, this recipe, it slaps, it slaps, it slaps. Hey, mm, and it's smelling so nice. Ooh. <laughs> so guys after adding your onions don't let them cook for long because we want the taste to be there fresh yeah so we're gonna leave it like this you can you, you can finish your recipe at here but i'm going to be adding tomatoes but if you're not a tomato person just you can just your omena is already ready but i love adding my tomatoes a lot of people don't like adding tomatoes to omena, but get some difference. Make sure you're using the ripest, the ripest tomatoes you have. We're going to mix it and let it cook for two minutes. If you're having the ripest tomatoes, two minutes even, after two minutes, you need it. Or rather, you can blend your tomatoes, then add the sauce here, or you boil the tomatoes, then add the paste here. But that's a half or before. We... So, guys, you're not going to be covering it because when you cover it, the crunchiness it Aisha because it will be soaked with the steam. So, we're going to let the tomatoes cook. Yeah. So we're going to leave it for one minute so that the, the salt and the recall can cook. Don't add any water, just serve this with ugali. Yeah, and it is ready. If you liked the video, please subscribe, give it a like, comment down below if you like the recipe. What do you want me to show you next? Yeah, so guys, enjoy!